Inside this big box here is something I've been waiting a long time to get. Um, I've always admired them, and uh, I've been watching YouTube videos of them and checking them out online for probably about five years, so I'm really excited to finally uh, purchase uh, a Mutz trailer. Um, I think it's going to work great for some of my farm work and then also doing a few chores around the house like fi hauling firewood and that type of thing. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at it. Uh, let's talk about the box real quick. If you order one of these, it's about 550 pounds. You just saw me bring it in with my tractor with pallet forks. Um, I hauled it in the back of my, my truck. I had to go pick it up at the dock. Um, and when I say dock, I mean shipping dock. So let's look at the crate. 550 pounds. It is 30 and a half inches wide, 75 inches long, and let's go to the floor, 32 inches tall. So it's a fairly big box. Uh, so let's pull the top off and see what's in there. All right, there it is. There's the uh, end panel for one of the ends. There's some tires. Um, I'm very impressed with this box. It is super thick. And the way the guys handle them at the uh, loading docks, it needs to be. They actually damaged the pallet, ripped the entire bottom off the pallet. But uh, luckily, it looks like everything's okay in the box. Um, I have had this open just for a second to look at it, so uh, that wasn't the first time it's been opened, so it may be a little bit different in there than when you order one, if you do buy one. Um, and you can probably recognize some of these parts from the uh, photos I rolled in uh, before I started this video. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing it. getting that thing unpacked <laughs> so you can see the big shipping crate it's all empty I'm telling you this thing is very very well made uh, this is not your uh, typical like Sears craftsman wagon or something like that <laughs> these uh, these bogies here are really really heavy they're uh, I don't know they're probably about 60 pounds a piece very impressed with it so far with the quality of everything. Um, sorry for the shadow. I got to run pretty big lights in here because it's nighttime. Um, so you can see there's lots of pieces. This is how it comes. So if you buy one, you got to put it together. There's the main bed right there. That was in the very bottom of the box. And uh, it looks good. It's got a little, little nick there in the paint. There's a few places like that, um, but it really goes for a ride. It had, had to come down from Canada, so uh, you're going to expect it to have a few little dings and so forth. Um, over here's the, the cool little sticker. Made in Canada. Much trailer. So let's go over here and look real quick. There's our instructions. So I need to study those. Um, pretty comprehensive. This is a one-man uh, company, I believe. So he does a phenomenal job considering it's one guy doing all this. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so anyway, here's the bolts. They're in Ziploc bags. One bag was uh, torn a little bit, so a few of the bolts. We're coming out, you can see the tear right there. That's eh, no big deal. I put them in the container to keep everything straight. So, uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna 
try to get myself organized and figure out what I put together first. Get some tools and get moving. So I was looking through the manual and uh, noticed that I've got page one and then page three, page five, and page seven. So <laughs> apparently maybe the manual is supposed to have a backside as well. So I've emailed Larry at Mutt's Trailers and uh, hopefully he'll send me one. Meanwhile, I'm not going to let that slow me down. I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions. They're written quite well. So I'm going to start with uh, assembling the frame. You can see it there, those two bent rails and then the drawbar. So uh, I'm just going to follow the instructions here. I'm going to not I'm not going to video me doing every step so it doesn't bore you, but I will show you uh, the results of my uh, work after I get done with each step. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, so I've got the first two steps completed. Well, let's back up a second. Almost completed. Uh, it looks like the way the instructions read that there's no washers here, no flat washers. These are nylocks, and it has a through bolt. Um, but I really want to have flat washers on both sides of this tube. As you can see, this is a hollow tube, and Having a nice flat washer on there, on there, excuse me, will distribute the load better on the tube and not try to crush it as I tighten this down. So I'm gonna have to go buy some new bolts. I think it's a, gotta be a four inch bolt. And, uh, or excuse me, a five inch bolt, I believe. Let's check that real quick. <clears throat> All my videos are unrehearsed, as you can tell. <laughs> Yeah, so we, we're going to have to put a, a a five inch bolt on there. It's currently four and a half inches. So the five will allow us to have a little bit of room for the nylock to get fully engaged, which it, it can barely engage now. And then we'll have room for two uh, flat washers. So not a big deal. I want to assemble it right, but I'm going to go ahead and keep moving. I can always come back and change those bolts out later. Let's go to the back. On the back is the axle assembly that goes across. This is what your bogies slide into. And uh, no need for a flat washer there because this is a nice big thick piece of steel. Very well made. And then on this side, I have flat washers and nylocks. Now, since my instructions are a little messed up, I don't know if that was intended to have those flat washers there or not, but they were in the parts, so I'm putting them on there. When I go to the hardware store, I'll buy some more 3 8 flat washers and use them throughout the project. So that's it for now. It's time to move over to these big old bogey axles. I said they weighed maybe 60 pounds. I think that was an exaggeration, but uh, I'd say they, they weigh close to 30 a piece. Very well made, nice and solid. Good solid weldment. It looks like it's made out of a stamped or bent piece that's then all welded together, fully welded. And just overall, very well made. Has some drain holes there for water. A lot of, a lot of thought and uh, care went into building this and uh, designing it. So it's very well made. Look at that from from this view, um, kind of looks like a boat trailer in a way, doesn't it? But um, let's continue on. So next step is to put these bogies on. So we've got the axles or bogey axles installed. And this bogey axle, as you saw in the previous video clip there, um, there's a large shaft that goes into this tube. When you install that, make sure you put plenty of grease per the instructions. You always need a can of grease around your shop, that's for sure. There's my little jar of grease. <laughs> Just slather it on there with a the screwdriver. Uh, make sure it's nice and evenly distributed. Put it on both axles. You slide those in, and then you put this bar in there, this rod that goes all the way from one side to the other. And it's secured with a carter key. I just got that bent over there. So that's all there is to it. All right, so that's going to conclude today's activities on the trailer.
course, this is going to be a multi-part video. I don't want to make really long videos. I know everybody has a short attention span, including myself. After about 10 minutes, I start zoning out. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching Project King videos.